In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Tromp. This is a new tier 10 Dutch destroyer. It has airstrikes, it has 150 millimeter guns, and decent range with them. It's got great concealment relative to that range. 5.9 is pretty amazing given the full build. This is a premium ship and the way you get it is insanely expensive. 38,000 doubloons with scaling discounts uh, based on how much free XP you spend. So up to a million free XP can get you a 50% doubloon discount on it initially. Uh, but what I would recommend is you wait for it to be available for coal later on. Apparently that will be 238,000 coal later on. That's probably a better deal. Uh, considering a million free XP is quite a lot, and you're still paying a ton of doubloons up front for it. As you can see, I haven't played it at all yet. I've been a little busy this week, so I'm a little late to getting to this ship. So this is going to be a first impressions. We'll see uh, exactly how this ship plays together. This is my initial build. I thought maybe I would go for some gun range, seeing if we can't be a bit of a gunboat DD, try that out. Since we don't have a smoke, Fearless Brawler is a nice way to just almost always have a 10% better reload. I am still taking concealment, uh, unfortunately no heal, so uh, not really worth investing in superintendent, at least in my opinion. Adrenaline Rush, always a great skill. And yeah, survivability expert, last stand, pretty standard things on a destroyer. As far as equipment for the initial build, it looks like this. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure about investing in the airstrikes, but I'm going to try it. Overall, I do think if we want to be a gunboat, we probably want propulsion mod. Uh, but we'll maybe be relying on this excellent engine boost. 25% uh, is a lot, especially for 78 seconds and a 95 second uh, cooldown. Of course, we do have engine boost mod one here. It's pretty valuable to use that on some of these extremely short duration, very powerful engine boosts. It's probably where you're going to get the most value. That and some of the French ships as well for these uh, special upgrades. So that's what we're starting with. Let's jump into some games and see how it plays. Okay, very first game in the Tromp, and we got decent matchmaker. Um, tier 10, of course, uh, but we're not seeing super ships here. We're not seeing a carrier. Uh, quite nice to have that. And as you can see at the bottom of our screen, we have an absolutely ridiculous number of armaments. We, of course, have our main guns. Uh, we have torpedoes as well. I didn't mention that earlier on. Um, 70 second reload is pretty good. 12 kilometers, pretty good. 13,000, 14,000 damage, not great. And 64 knots, not great. Uh, it looks like it's only 2x3 as well. Um, so not amazing. And you only get one per side by the looks of it as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, so not the most amazing torpedo power, but we'll still, uh, we'll still send it out. And of course, we have airstrikes um not sure how good they're gonna be 21 millimeters of 10 it's not a lot it means they're going after superstructures 10 kilometer range is pretty nice uh 48 second reload and we can have it most too charged up as we can see uh let's take a look at how s it's tiny <laughs> okay so if you've played the d7 provincian i don't know if i'm pronouncing that exactly right but it's the uh dutch tier 8 premium uh cruiser You'll be used to these airstrikes and how difficult they are to actually use. Um, interesting that we're really not seeing anyone out here. I went wide like this, trying to get some spotting. I don't want to rush into A uh, in most ships, especially a big, slow ship. That was something I didn't really mention. Um, are we actually going to land a torp on the Sherman? It doesn't look like it. But what we could do is in reverse. Imagine? <laughs> he probably accelerates. Just imagine though, guys. <laughs> we have decent concealment, remember, 5-9, it's pretty good. Oh my goodness, 12,000, 13,000. <laughs> okay, it's overpowered. <laughs> uh, I still probably don't win a gunfight. I don't really, I'm not sure yet, we'll see. But dang, that poor Sherman. Okay, we've made it into the A cap. Wow, we actually have really good firing arcs. Um, it's hard to get over that. 
These are 150s, so we should be... Hmm, we should be a decent farmer as well. By the looks of it, it's, yeah, 10, 10 seconds out to 15 kilometers? So uh, not bad at all. Not bad at all. I have no idea. 10 second lead time. Let's see. Actually, so close. Actually, so oh, we got a few hits, 4,000. It actually hits pretty hard, these airstrikes. Okay, the enemy team is pushing in pretty aggressively, which is good for us. We get to test out some of this uh, damage a little more. Okay, Delny is coming around. Turret Traverse is a little slow. I'm not sure, do I win in a DPM fight against a Delny? I guess we'll see. He's not charging us. It's fine. Trying to flank, I guess. I probably should have put those on the Napoli. Um, but, hey, let's see what happens. Might be reasonably accurate. I'm insane with these. What? Or just people just walking into these? Hello? What's the lead time? Is it only 10 seconds? I feel like, yeah, it's 11 seconds. So since um, the Provincian has 14 or 15 seconds, I believe, uh, these are a lot easier to use. I did not expect that. Although people are driving in straight lines, I'm just having to lead enough. Still though, the damage is pretty insane. Uh, we're kind of walking out into Mecklenburg secondaries, which is not amazing. Yeah, 10 seconds, man. Airstrikes are a lot easier to lead with 10 seconds. Might have even overled Mecklenburg? No, looks like that'll be good. On his superstructure. The damage! Like, sure, the pen sucks. How's seven? Uh, okay, this thing, this thing is kind of nuts. This, I, I actually like going for the, uh, <laughs> I like, I like going for the airstrikes now. <laughs> Especially because battleships have such giant superstructures, you know? <laughs> I like this ship, guys. Oh, I like this ship. Oh, this is so fun. I feel like it's awful to play against, but sneaky airstrikes, they hit so hard when they pen. Like, they don't have much pen. Like, I'll, I'll definitely say that, but man, do they hit so hard. We did 50k with them. <laughs> 21,000 to the Delny, 13 to the Sherman. Whoa. All right, game number two. We get a little bit different matchmaker. Um, basically no battleships, which is very, very weird. Um, not a lot of farming potential then. So we do want to hopefully deal with the caps. Um, we want to use our good concealment here to try and uh, take the cap. Although, keep in mind, we definitely have some subs to worry about. The ship feels like a bit of a brick, I'll be honest. The rudder shift's not bad, the turning radius, okay. It's just kind of slow. Um, so, we'll have to try and figure out how to deal with that if we ever come across a sub. Um, given that it's a Henry so close, I'm a little scared to full... Uh, full commit into this cap. There's also a Napoli nearby. Our Charles Martel is like very aggressive. So we probably lose him. Um, yeah, so not looking like a great start here. In DDs, you often want to, uh, you often want to reverse into caps like this. 
because you can get out much, much quicker. We have that special speed boost, remember? So can definitely be a great way to get out of bad situations. Okay. Found a DD. Try uh, those airstrikes, see what happens. I don't know if I want to get into a fight there. We'll see. <laughs> Holy crap, guys. <laughs> Somebody stop me. <laughs> Somebody stop me. This is crazy. 10 seconds, man. I can see these getting nerfed. Um, yeah, I think I think they're, they reload quite quick. I think they, uh, the 10 second lead time makes them so much easier to use. Uh, looks like the DD is still here. Yeah, we'll take this fight now. Wow, they do so much damage, too. He's just dead. He's just dead, guys. Yeah, for some reason, man, these, these airstrikes are just crazy against DDs. I guess you do have to hit a pretty small target, to be fair. I gotta say, having all of these different ways of uh, engaging the enemy is a lot of fun. It's, it's, I'm actually really enjoying this. Well, it's a very interesting ship to play because of that. Let's see, do I hit him this time? We do, 5,000 in a fire. Looks like that was a damage control. Which feels pretty good. Double fire? That should be permanent double fire. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. We're just blowing them out. All right. Let's see what gunboat we can do. We got our speed boost up. Let's see if we can, can't do some gunboat things. This, this guy doesn't have fire prevention, so we can get even more fires here. Could hurt. Yeah, not bad. No more fires? Okay, he's on someone else. I actually didn't check the fire chance on the main guns. Now, Henry. Certainly paying for Okay. I'm gonna go dark. Um, I'm shocked that Henry's shooting me. There's like a Yamato dying in front of him. But okay. It's fine. Now he's shooting someone else. That's good. And that's the thing. If we lose a lot of HP now, we can just go in and use these airstrikes on people. You know? They're nuts. Uh, I think he... I thought he had better turning radius than that. Silly me. Okay, a bit of a blow at that game, but man, these airstrikes are kind of insane. They're just kind of crazy. Like just 15,000 damage. 
just because you were spotted close to this thing. Game number three with the Tromp, and we got a really fun one, I think. Warrior's Path. Anything with a lot of islands to maneuver through that we can uh, use these airstrikes on people a little better is going to be a lot of fun. Um, it's just crazy what this ship is doing so far with these airstrikes. I haven't admittedly tried out the main guns all that much. Torps seem pretty bad as well. So keep that in mind. Um, if you're not getting much value out of the airstrikes, I don't know how good this ship will actually be for you. In that way, it's a lot like the uh, Dutch cruisers, right? Where if you're not getting any value out of the uh, out of the airstrikes, it's really not great ships. Although I would say that uh, the Dutch cruisers are a little weak in other ways as well. Uh, how aggressive do I want to be here also? We have a Kleber that's like hard charging, so I'll, I'll play aggressive, sure. Um, looks like he's not quite spotted yet. Probably the Napoli is spotted. Ohio, maybe? Yeah. Montana out wide, it's good. We wanna find things with big superstructures, right? That's kind of the goal here. Hmm, I wonder if our Kleber got spotted? Is that the reason he went and left the cap? I don't know. Regardless, the enemy team is being pretty passive here. Yeah, having having five nine conceal is so nice here. Feels really, really good. Go forward. This is why we have the speed boost, please. See, that's that's why uh that's why you want a uh, speed boost, specifically propulsion mod, uh, in case you don't have your speed boost. I fat fingered the uh, the defensive fire there. Highly likely this guy just stops and smokes. Maybe not. Try there. Missed. He must have gone forward. Okay. I should have been shooting my main guns earlier, I think, is the idea there. There's a Holland mid. Although our G9 probably cleans that up reasonably well. If I had to guess. I don't want to get too close because of the... Uh, Hydro here. Maybe a little careful. Speed boost is out. Yeah, see, the Hydro is pretty powerful. I might have overlet him. Nope, hit him three. You gotta respect a vampire. It's a very, very powerful ship. Seems like he's running now. And he's out of smoke. So if we do it, run into him, we'll feel reasonably okay. However, there is a Napoli pushing. So we don't really want to uh, take a fight close range to a Napoli. There he is. Vampire's here. There you are. Torpedoes on backboard. Got him. Notice that uh, the uh, cap, a cap, is being uh, contested here. 
Alright, we'll try and just get away from here. Looks like we do reasonably successfully. Double fire Napoli. Not bad. Not amazing. Um, but we do manage to kill a DD and get away with it. We could definitely think about farming. I think that's perfectly reasonable. It's probably the Holland that's in ACAP now that I look at it. Yeah, let's do a little farming. Let's see how good these guns can be. The vo shell velocity is quite nice, right? Like that's that's what feels qu pretty good here. You're not having to lead like an insane amount. Holland, pretty far range. We are triple capped at the moment. It's a little spooky. Oh my goodness, we're getting tour pits? That feels pretty good. Seems like he probably damage controlled that. So we're gonna try and light him up with these airstrikes. Should be here and here. Maybe a little far back. Should get fires though, if... Yep, that's a double. <laughs> it's so many bombs, it's ridiculous, the number of bomb hits. And those are perma fires too. Which are very painful. So it looks like the torps are a little better than I thought. If you're hitting them, they can do some serious damage. A little hard to see here. Try there, I guess. Maybe. Wow, our team got absolutely crushed mid. That hurts. Another fire. Torpedoes, <laughs> recht vooruit. Oh no. Oh, we barely dodge. My goodness. It's a brick. It's a bit of a brick. I'm worried the Monty is going to push out here and catch us. So I don't really want that to happen. Although he should be pretty low, given how much fire damage we've done to him. But... Uh, I'm definitely going to play a little passive. If I go in front of this rock and the Montana comes out, he catches me. Um, so playing passive here, I think, makes a lot of sense. Yep. And that's exactly what happened. Marceau, it'd be great to kill him. Got another fire on this poor Monty? Uh, he should die. I will save this strike then. Okay, how do we help our team the most? I think some spotting is really good. Zhao. Try those there. Maybe we get a tour pit. We do. Nice. Set another set there. We get a fire. Okay. Zhao might pop out here, so we don't really want to eat that. Salvo. Uh, so we'll just back off a little bit real quick. We do have a speed boost available. I will save it, though.
Oh, that should be easy pickings for our team. Although the Monty just died, maybe not. We might need to open up here. Um, trying to secure this Zao kill. Let's see. Thousand. I'm actually going to swap to the AP if he goes broadside here. Which looks like he will do. No. Nope. Okay. He took enough damage. I don't think I need to open up. Okay. What is in C? That's probably the Shima, if I had to guess. Which we might need to go after. Or at least prevent him from getting into B cap. Okay. We have another decision to make, guys. Do we push into the cap here or not? I think with Venice there, it means no. We gotta be so careful, man. We gotta be so, so careful. All right. Yeah, Napoli there, spooky stuff. So yeah, they're pushing B right now. Um, if I come north here, maybe I can spot. My team gets some cross shots. It's The problem here is really that my team is pushing into a Conqueror that's kiting them, you know? tough i lose 50 like i have enough hp but also i lose this hp so fast i think the best i can do is provide spotting which i just thought of now <laughs> Okay, bit of damage. Um, close game. I'm gonna speed boost here. Maybe I can get to the uh, cap, but other than that, I might actually just need it to survive here. Seems like he's stopping. Okay, we got the Moskva. Unfortunately, we need another kill. Now, is the Venice or the... Oh, the Borgon died. I think we're just done. Our team was not good this game. They kind of just sat up north here and then pushed into the crossfire once the crossfire got set up nicely, which feels bad. Um, we kind of just got to try and make a play, I guess, Multiple into a bunch of sap and that. Which feels pretty bad. All right, Napoli. Try there. Hey, we shot the planes down pretty quick. Maybe the A is decent. Oh, no. Maybe he whiffs? Mm, not quite.
dead. I tried, guys. I tried. The ship is pretty good, though. I think, um... With a bit better team, I think we win there. All right, nearly 160. Uh, pretty insane. <laughs> yeah, I mean, our team was just really, really bad in that one. And that happens a lot of these games, right? It's random battles. Um, yeah, pretty good to game, though. I think the ship overall feels like a ton of fun to play. Having torps, guns, and airstrikes, they're all pretty good. It gives you a lot of options. And having the flexibility of just amazing concealment alongside that is quite nice uh, of course it's a bit clumsy so you gotta watch out for that um, but again it's pretty expensive so i would suggest you wait on this one even though it looks pretty amazing i think it's going to be quite situational as i play it more so that's going to do it for this video and these first impressions let me know what you think in the comments down below uh, you'll definitely see this ship more on the channel. I've really had a good time with these airstrikes. It seems like it's a lot of fun to use. Uh, so again, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.